welcome to this very special worship service where once again we are privileged to see and hear the story of Christmas as presented to us by the children and youth of the Meeting House. Like everything else in this year of the great pandemic, this service is coming to you electronically rather than in person. And while we miss the excitement that comes with a live service, this offering has allowed us to include some new voices and to experience the Christmas story in a new way. And as you are about to see, it includes all the fun, all the seriousness, and all the unexpected miracles that we have come to expect from this service. As always, I pray this time of worship and celebration will fill us with hope as we hear once again the good news of great joy, the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christmas Eve, we tell the best story in the whole world about a little baby who brought light and love and hope and joy into the world. The prophet said the people were walking in darkness, but now there is light. 
Because this child has been born. God's own child. Can you imagine? Let's imagine. Look up. Can you see the stars in the night sky? Can you see that one very bright star? Listen. Can you imagine you hear the shepherds whispering as they try to lull those sheep to sleep? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Can you imagine you feel the chill of the night air and the flutter of angels' wings all around us? Now open your eyes and look around you at the light and joy and anticipation and excitement in the faces of your family. What is it? It's joy, hope, light, and love. This is God's love story. God loved the world so much that God came to live with us. And Mary loved God so much that she took a leap of faith in giving birth and raising this very special baby. And Joseph loved Mary so much that he took care of her and God's child. And the heavens loved them all so much that the angels appeared to shepherds and told them about this miracle. And the world loved this child so much that we continue to tell his story over 2,000 years later, honoring this little baby who grew up to save the whole wide world. Who is this baby? That's right, Jesus! Jesus, God's gift to us, the Prince of Peace and the Light of the World, this is his story. And as we share his story on this Christmas Eve, let's think about how we can respond to God's gracious gift. What can we give? Our time? Our talents? Our treasure? Let's give them all to this little baby for his birthday present on this Christmas Eve. Finding our place at the Nativity. It happened a long time ago that Caesar Augustus sent an order throughout the Roman Empire that all the people under his rule should go to the cities and towns from which their families had come from and have their names written on a list. Because Joseph and Mary were from the family of David the King, they went from Nazareth to Bethlehem to have their names written on the list. After a long journey, Mary and Joseph came to Bethlehem and found the city full of people who, like themselves, had come to have their names written on the list. The inn, or hotel, was full. There was no room for them. No one in the busy city knew that this young woman was soon to be the mother of the Lord of all the earth. The best they could do was go to a stable where the cows were kept. That night was a blessed night, and that lowly stable became a holy place. For on that night, the Savior of the world was born. God sent God's own Son into the world to be Mary's baby. Mary held the promised child in her arm and her heart was filled with love and adoration. This tiny child was the son of the great and mighty God. Joseph looked at him tenderly and adoringly for he knew that this small baby was the savior of the world. He put some soft hay in the manger, the feed box out of which the cows ate and laid the baby Jesus on the hay.
On that night, some shepherds were tending to their sheep in a field near Bethlehem. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord and will be a sign for you. You will find this babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among all people with whom God is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known to the saying which had been told to them concerning this child. And all who heard it were amazed what the shepherds told them. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. When the baby was eight days old, they named him Jesus, a word which means salvation. The very name of the child told what he would do for people. He would bring salvation to the world. Very wise men called Magi who studied the stars lived in a country far from Judea. One night they saw a strange star shining in the sky and they learned that the coming of the star meant that a king was soon to be born. The Magi felt a call from God to go to Judea to see the newborn king. They took a long journey with camels and horses. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod, the king behold. There came Magi from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. Herod and all Jerusalem were troubled when they heard these things. Herod called his chief priests and scribes of the people together and asked them where the Christ should be born. And they told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah. 
for out of you will come a governor that will rule my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi to him and asked the time the star appeared. He told them to go to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them until it came and stood over the place where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with great joy. And when they came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures and presented the Christ child with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That night God sent a dream to the Magi, telling them not to go back to Herod, but to go home at once to their own land by another way. They obeyed the Lord and found another road to their own country without passing through the city where Herod was living. So Herod could not learn from the men who the child was that was born to be a king. joy to the world let us go out and repeat this sounding joy there is good news in the world tonight Jesus is born surrounded by love with adoring faces of shepherds and animals and magi and angels looking on and sharing in the good news and I know it brings us all great joy and great hope so I offer you this Christmas prayer O oh God, give us such love and wonder that we may come to adore the Holy Child. As you came in the stillness of the night so long ago, enter our lives and our world once again. Overcome our fears with your light in baby Jesus' name. Now remember children and grown-ups, friends, families, and visitors. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. So go out into the world with great joy. And may the grace of Bethlehem's child, the love of God, and the devotion of the Holy Spirit be with you and all people now and forever. Amen. Great God. Let's give to the whole world. Merry Christmas.